Let me just start off by saying I am glad Jamie Foxx is okay, healthy, and well. But man, if his health scare wasn't perfect marketing for this film, and y'all know what film I'm talking about here, because they did not clone Jamie Foxx, they cloned Tyrone. Let's get into my review of that right now. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the new film. They clone Tyrone which is coming to Netflix July 21st. This star studded film stars John Boyega, Tiana Parrish and Jamie Foxx. So I start off review by saying I am glad that Jamie Foxx is doing well. Uh, what a fantastic person, artist, uh, actor, all of that. And here's just another notch on the belt right here for Jamie Foxx as the character Slick Charles. The moment you see him on screen, you already know it is about to be a ride. But listen, the 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 the, the film is is called They Clone Tyrone and Jamie Foxx who. Uh, upon his uh, medical scare had been uh, off the grid and 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 yes you heard from his family that he was doing okay but he was taking this alone time but Jamie has resurfaced and folks online are saying that ain't Jamie they cloned him <laughs> and then Jamie said they did not clone me they cloned Tyrone which is in promotion of his new film uh, which is certainly a film you want to check out it is hilarious it's hilarious and this film does a lot but nonetheless the execution is truly fantastic and i really expect nothing less because with this cast i'm like yeah yeah they they, they definitely gonna make this work and john boyega plays this character fontaine uh who's a little bit of a hard read initially but nonetheless he's a street dude here um and, and and there's a lot of different things happening as he is a street dude uh you know from you know him just making moves and trying to make his money weird interaction at the corner store uh and then ultimately uh it looks like he's shot and killed and then looks like we are setting ourselves up for another version of a ground hall stay uh, uh, uh film and yeah I thought that at first too, and I kept wondering, like, what is this whole clone Tyrone thing? We're like, I, I, I get the title, but like, how does that apply? Because it's not very evident very early of what's going on here. But uh, with that being said, uh, this now gets into uh, a government conspiracy of, um, I guess the easiest way to put it is that the government involvement with the hood. And as these folks who are key players in the hood, starts to discover what is happening underneath their feet um <laughs> more and more eerie events start to reveal themselves and unravel and it is a ride so listen i i i i at a point i i, I get that get out feeling like a jordan pill sort of like you know feel behind it and no this is directed by jewel taylor and producer and writer um but I certainly had Jordan Peele vibes from this, which is a good thing. And then there's a lot of other little things in there that I enjoy, like tons of superhero references, uh, tons of pop culture references. I mean, the script is so good. And I think, you know, Jamie as his character Slick Charles is just, I mean, there's so many good moments between him and Yo-Yo Tiana Paris's character bouncing off of each other uh, and I just think that as the name Slick Charles, he has a slick mouth. So like, you know, he does what he does. And Yo-Yo, she, 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 she runs the streets, but like, she's not to be played with as, as well. And when she gets a little bit of a, a, a fire under her, you know, she's so, o overly motivated to figure out what's going on. So, you know, there's that. The, the, the film also sort of got old school vibes. You know, you start to feel a little shaft sort of print on this or aesthetic shall i say um but that obviously is modernized and then with all of the comedy just tons of undertones as well too like let, let's not 
let's 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 you know we could be silly all we want but like there's definitely some serious undertones to the things that are happening uh within this film gentrification is one uh and, and just that uh you know that perception of the hood and 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 black folks without opportunity but what does it look like if you did give them opportunity and how would society yet america uh approve of that would they or would they try to suppress it you know a lot of different things like that um but i think like you know it's a it's a it's a long it's a long movie to an extent it feels long at times like the first arc is like totally weirdness and then the second half really starts to dive into the mystery of things uh and and, and then certainly the things that you saw very early in the, in the film like the early early scenes where certain things kind of happen then they kind of go away from it for a while it does get revisited by the second half to a point you almost forget about those scenes but like yes the ending absolutely makes everything come full circle uh especially with the title which to me tells me that like listen there's absolutely opportunity to tell more story to do a sequel uh, because not only is it just a good story good acting it's a fun ride a lot of laughs um and i think they actually got something that they can really use to um to to further expand because yes they they've laid the groundwork to expand and uh it's going to be interesting and i think like with everything that's happening to very early in the beginning to wear your detective hat you need to be suspicious of the different things that are happening um there are tons of hints early in the film again things that you may uh forget about but nonetheless will be very important towards the end um and, and there's so many different things that happen and i think you know from the aesthetic of this film the the, the clothing attire um that's the acting the laughs uh just how some characters are wearing different hats to say the least here um you know the, you you get it all you know and i think that uh the the trio here are, are just must watch the entire time and it's, yes there's other folks involved um and, and 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 even with that you know um you 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 get enough from some of these supporting characters as well uh jay alphonse nicholson uh, who plays the character isaac you know he continues to uh flourish in his career uh he just you know obviously from p valley as little murder and then he was in white man can jump so now he's in isaac and he doesn't play games here he's a game changer of a character as well uh and 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 beyond that you you know you got more and more characters Kiefer sutherland is in it uh who's you know he's 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 a legend at this point now uh mega Souza is riri uh also is a little bit of a game changer as well a, a little bit of a laugh there there's a lot of folks involved with this and it's just a good film i really enjoyed this the rewatchability of this film is crazy and f in fact once you do watch the film the first time and you kind of start to put things together you're going to be more and more intrigued to want to watch it again to kind of see things in real time to really pick up on some of those clues you may have missed out on so without a doubt they clone tyrone which i know a lot of folks have been talking about is must watch um and and if anything like i think you just see how much we should be appreciating jamie fox right now because i tell you if we had a lost jamie this film would hit on a whole nother level but while he's here um and to be around a long long time you know we got to give that man his flowers because he is he's he's bombing this and yes john is bomb too tiana's bomb but jamie man i'm trying to tell you jamie 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 put on a performance here that would have just been almost emotional to watch seeing just how good he was and how he just really almost left us out of nowhere i mean yes folks were like oh come on now uh, but as Jamie said, uh, as he's back, they didn't clone me, they didn't clone Jamie Foxx, they cloned Tyrone, folks. This is a film you must watch on Netflix, July 21st. Get in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts, your sight, your, your, your excitement and hype for this film. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon. Thank you for watching.